this module we're going to cover navigating the front panel. So to start going into the main menu, you press the I icon. Here you can see the, the, the media information, what is loaded in each of the roles. You can go into the option button and here you can load either sheet and load roll one and load roll two, for example. The next icon is for the ink cartridges. This shows the, the usage of the ink cartridges. You can press any color to get more information, part numbers, remaining ink, whether it's under warranty or not. In the options menu, you can select to actually replace an ink cartridge if it's empty. The next icon is for the printheads. Again, you can press any of the icons and it will give you further information about that printhead. Going back, again, you can press options and it will give you the option of replacing that printhead. In the next icon, you have information about the network. It will give you the IP address, the printer name, and how it's configured. The, the next icon is for alerts, so if uh, ink is low, uh, media is run out, this is where you will get your alert. The next icon is for printer information. This will show you the product number, serial number, and more importantly, the firmware version. And the last icon will take you into the main menu. The, the top three options is basically how to configure the preferences for printing from USB, from the ePrint Center, and direct print. So if we go into one of those options, here we can select the print quality for that preference, whether you want to print in color or black and white, which role you want to print on, and whether you want to uh, control your margins. If you go further down in connectivity, here we can actually configure the network, whether we want to connect to the internet, whether we want to connect to the ePrint Center. Here also we have the option of launching the connectivity wizard, which will basically configure your printer to connect to the, to the internet. Next we have updates. This is really important to configure your printer so that it can check for new updates on a regular basis. Security option. Here we can disable printing from the USB, upgrading uh, the firmware from USB. We can also disable uh, the internet connection if you don't need that. The paper option is where you can select to unload or load a, uh, a new roll. And a real useful feature is the form feed and cut. That is where you'll find it under the paper menu. Then we have the ink menu. Here we can choose to replace the ink cartridges and the printheads. We have the setup menu. Here we can actually choose the printing preferences when printing from your PC. If you go in, you can change all the settings relating to the printing. Print re retrieval, this is where you can change the dry time and disable the cutter if needed. And then we have further options like changing uh, the language, the date and time, the units that are being used in the, in the printer. In the setup menu, you, can, you have an option also of installing the external hard drive. So if you need that option, this is where you would select that to install that. Image quality maintenance, very useful option. If you need to calibrate the, the color, if you need to align the print heads, it's also where you can print the diagnostic image if you have issues with uh, your printouts. You can also calibrate your paper advance when you have some type of uh, banding issue. And a great feature is the clean printhead, so if any of your printheads are failing, you can use this option to, to try and clean those. 
And the last feature, the internal prints. Here you can actually print out the, the user usage information about the printer. You have service information. And there are three demo prints, which you can use to print out to uh, help with troubleshooting.